Hello and welcome everyone back to my RPG making series. Today, I'm going to create a key item that's linked to an event. Basically, a key item that does things. Cause, yeah, most people use key items as like something that you carry on, like a message for someone. Now, why should you be limited to that? So, first, what you're going to start off is you're going to go to items, and then you're going to change the maximum as to allow yourself in a, a spot to create an item, obviously. Now, you're going to look for an icon. Now, I'm going to be creating a item that allows you to go through the intro again just in case maybe you spelt your name wrong or maybe you just wanted to see what the other character looked like like you clicked female and maybe you wanted to change it so just going to choose a book and I'm gonna call it an intro redo intro redo this allows you to redo the intro in case of mistakes only now that one will show up there, so we'll do that. You're going to select a key item. You're going to want it so we, you can't eat the book. You, you don't want to eat a book. The scope is none, because you don't use it in battles. Occasion, from only from the menu. Click Apply. Now you want to go to common events and you're going to want to create your event that's going to occur when you use the uh, key item. So I'm going to name this common event intro redo. You're going to set the trigger to none because the trigger will be the item. <coughs> So you're going to insert uh, text, uh, you can change the background if you want, maybe uh, this is uh, intro redo. It allows you to correct mistakes in correct mistakes you made in the intro. Preview that, make sure it fits. Nope, doesn't fit. There, that should work. And then we should, uh, yeah, warning. Spell warning wrong. Warning. This will reset your level. Most likely it will. 
Well, changing your character will, changing your name won't. Actually, you know what? I have an idea how to make this better. What do you want to change? Then add choices. Like name or character. That way, if it's just you misspelled your name, you can easily just fix the spelling instead of having to completely start the intro over, as I was thinking before. So name, you can just put a name input processing with whatever amount of characters. And then when character, that's when we take this, put that there. Insert the whole process there, where we can just apply, go to our intro, just copy what we already have from here down, right? Nope, not there down, from... Yeah, copy this, control C. And take it to the common event. And yeah, leave your name input processing because if they do change their character to like the other gender, they might want to change their name to a name that would suit that gender. So yeah, that should do it. You can do whatever you want. Now we want to go back to our items, to our intro redo. And to effects, you want to go to other and uh, select common event. And I spelled case wrong. Correct that. And that's how you create the item. So now when I go to my map, put a chest, put in the item redo, the intro redo, and then put my character back at the intro, set a starting position. Change the intro to transfer me somewhere else. Transfer me there. Okay. Bye. Go to the database. Remove from initial party and erase your name. And then we'll see how this plays out. So I'm going to choose male, and I'm going just to just put random things, doesn't really matter. And then it's just like, maybe at some time during the uh, game, it's just like, you know what, I, I think I made a mistake, my name isn't supposed to have an L. My name isn't supposed to have that extra L at the end. It's a mistake. So then you go and use your item redo. What do you want to change? Name. It's not supposed to have that extra L at the end, but yeah. 
Let's say I just want to completely just change my name to. Hmm. To Dan. Now I'm Dan. Simple as that. Let's say I did not see that uh, the choice for the gender there. I could easily just go character. And then, yeah, it's just like. And then just to put in your name, which would be. Huh. But yeah, since it's on the top line, it's easy to do because it's three letters. As you see, we have a problem because now we have two characters. So, what you would have to do is back to the common event. You want to copy this. Control C, that. Over there. You want to edit to remove the character. And you're going to want to do the same thing over here. Remove. That way it removes the previous character you have and then adds the new one. Let's test that this time. No, I, I gotta fix this. I, can, I cannot play this game on a small screen. I thought it was, it was one of these buttons. Hmm. Alright, that's a, that's a script that allows me to go full screen. Let's say I accident, I did not see that choice there, accidentally clicked mail and be like, I can't, I, why can't I go back? And it'd be like, the game's just messed up. But most people would probably quit by now and try again without saving. So, putting in the whole item review, which I should probably collect first. Change character. And there we are. Now we do not have two players. And now we are the other character. And it's simple as that. And it's not limited to just intro redos. You can do whatever. Like uh, anything. Anything is possible. You can also make, let's see my other game. See what kind of things it has. I have a wrist watch that tells you the time, which I'm kind of s debugging a bit. I have um, what do we have? Uh, we have this reversion syrup that allows um, the player to turn from a slime back into a human. Because at some point I turned the character into a slime. It's like, why not? And then I have gender costumes, which allow my. Well, yeah, which allow my uh, character to infiltrate the opposite gender's base. So we've got the boys uh, club over here and the girls club over there. And they're like rivals. And then you just so happen to walk in the city and 
If you're a boy, the boys take you and want you to infiltrate because the girls have not seen you before. And if you're a girl, then the girls will take you and they'll want you to infiltrate the other ones. And they each have like a little artifact that, a lot, that you want, you're want you trying to steal. Just the problem with that is that you need to create two different maps. One for if you're a male and one for if you're a female so that you'll be allowed to do those things correctly. And I can easily know which one is which by the amount of pigs in this pen. If there's five, you're in the on the female map. And if there's three, you're on the male map. Okay, I did not intentionally put less on the male map. I just randomly copied and pasted pigs. So, yeah. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy your uh, RPG making. And hope you're all excited for RPG Maker MV to come out on October 23rd. I know I'm excited. Just that scripts won't be able to be converted into plugins. Whole new system. And whole new system meaning like the scripts here, they use Ruby, a scripting language. In MV, they use uh, JavaScript. So you should probably start learning JavaScript. I recommend CodeAcademy.com. And I am 13% done learning JavaScript. So yeah. JavaScript is what you're going to need to script in uh, MV. So, see you in the next episode, and hope you pre-order uh, RPG Maker MV. PJ out.